there's a lot of confusion, uh, at least I still have confusion over that issue uh, at the uh, town meeting regarding the uh, parking revenues and the parking expenses. So far, my research has indicated that um, the real source of the facts, which I do like to look at source documents to get facts, uh, is actually the Department of Revenue Administration. So I've been requesting uh, this body to uh, give me uh, access to inspect all communications uh, with the uh, New Hampshire Department of Revenue Administration uh, since January 1st of 2010. description of her duties, what they would have been. And then the real reason I'm here is also from the, that meeting. Um, when John Gephardt moved that money, and I forget now if it was twenty or 30000 from um, general government back mm -hmm. down into culture and recreation, um, John was right. I've looked into it. I've talked to a number of people, including the state our auditor. Um, I've gotten paperwork. Um, I've talked to Mike O'Neill. Um, nobody seems to know when this was changed. Um, it's always been that you add up all your expenses, you take your revenue, and then what's left is what you tax people on. But somewhere along the way, somebody called the state claiming they were Mike O'Neill and said that from now on all revenue is only to come out of culture and recreation. No revenues are to come out of the general government or anywhere else. And when did this happen? Um, there's a date on here, but I can't read it. I'll give you the paperwork. And then there's another note, and I can only read part of it, um, that says all something and assets are now in general government, such as playground equipment per Skip Windemiller. So I've got one for all of you. Okay. But um, the people who are exempt have been getting overcharged for quite a while now on their taxes. So John tried to rectify that when he changed it and just keep it sort of low key and let it slide. But since it got moved back to where it shouldn't be. Um, so this was done in 79, is that what it says? I don't know what the date says on that. Nobody could figure out the date. But it says Mike O'Neill called and had them change it. And I've spoken to Mike, and Mike can tell you himself, he never, ever did that. And when he was a commissioner, that was exactly how they did it. They took all your expenses, mm -hmm. subtracted the revenue, and then figured out the taxes for exempt and non-exempt from it. Right. So that's not what's been going on. All the revenue has been coming out of culture and recreation only. Mm -hmm. So non-exempt is basically getting screwed on their taxes here for years. So I bring it to your attention so that you can correct it. Okay. And the, um, I, I know there's been comment, and I have for uh, Mr. Jones. Um, he wanted uh, the conversation that I had with our accountant, Bill Youngfoss, and about the, uh, the payroll going into general government when, right. when, it had, when John had moved it. And he said to me that it's up to us to put it into where we think it should be. We can do it many different ways. And to take a vote on it, which is what we did on that night, and we voted on it to put it into from cultural records to general government. What you're talking about here is different. We should definitely look into that and see what we can do about that. But what I did that night, we took a vote on um, moving it back to where it was originally into into the general government. Uh, right. I sat down with them um, and they said that they did not even realize someone had changed it and that revenue does not come out of all the expenses and that it only comes out. Uh, he was the one who actually sent me to the state to check with them because right. he said, if that's going on, I don't but know But he said anything. that was, it's been going on, it's, it's been on for years and it's up to yes. us to decide. And the only other question, June, is, is he was under the understanding that you were still commissioner. So yeah, if, you, if you do talk to these type of people, you really have to let them know that you're not a commissioner because he said wow. there's stuff that, that has to go through us and not, not that he's not allowed to say certain things. So if you do call anybody. Well, they just sent me something recently, and I've, I've never said I was commissioner. As a matter of fact, I said I missed the annual meeting, and that was the end of uh, my well, term. He was under the understanding that you were calling as a commissioner, So I, just so you know that. Just in the future, I'd appreciate that. 
um, they sent an email just on June 23rd and it says parking um, this classification will depend on whether parking receipts offset only culture and recreation or both culture and recreation and general government what he said is, and I have that same one here is that we can decide how we were going to do it and to take a vote on it at the meeting so that's what we did we did take a vote on it at the meeting right but then now you we can decide now if we want to separate the work that we do in the playground the work that we do in the garage, the work that we do for all different things, for payroll, and separate it so it can be put into different categories. And, and that's something that we'll talk about for, our, uh, for next year's budget. Right, because but you can't charge the non-exempt people for all the salaries of people here at the garage, the playground, and then not add the parking revenue to, to take off of their expenses. Right, and I agree with that. Yeah, and it's wrong, and I don't know who started it. So I it. think next year that's something we'll have to, to change into the uh, into the um, into the budget. Okay, that was it for me. Okay, before you go, I just like to address a couple of things that you just said. Before he just want to make a comment oh, on that person. I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. Now, I got a chart of accounts from Mike Schwarzer, and the all the account numbers, that's all done by DRA, okay? Now, as far as I know exactly what you're talking about, when it comes time to, for me to go to the accountant and bring all these books, then since we're all in agreement now, it won't be a problem. Right. Does that seem appropriate? Yeah. No, that's okay, fine. because I think I understand what you're saying, and Chuck's in agreement. When I go to the accountant, I'll make sure that that happens. And if it doesn't, then I expect you to, right to be right on me, okay? Yeah.